If you've got a sprinkler system, this is the video for you because you might be surprised to find out most sprinkler systems are set up incorrectly and that results in brown spots on parts of your lawn so we overcompensate by overwatering the whole thing. But if you only knew about a couple of secret adjustments you could make, you could solve that problem in a different way without causing more problems. You want to make these adjustments because you're having some type of a problem. Either you're putting down way too much water to overcompensate for an area that's not getting enough, or you just know that you're not putting enough because you're getting a brown section of the lawn that shows up when the heat of summer really kicks in. So you want to make these adjustments to correct both of those problems and they're very easy to do. Now the sprinkler that we're going to use in this demo is right here and this is a rotor or a rotary style head. It's the most common one. And in addition, here's a smaller size head and it also comes from a couple of other manufacturers. These ones in the front are made by Hunter and the other models are made by Orbit, but the adjustments are the same. And even if you don't have this style head, the principles are still going to apply and you can make those adjustments on other models as well. Our first adjustment is about distance. Most people are unaware that you can control exactly how far the water goes on one of these sprinkler heads. Now the reason this is important because if your water is going too far, it might always be going on a walkway or a driveway, or possibly you're just overwatering two areas where there's some sprinkler overlap. So watch this adjustment and you'll see how easy it is to tune your system. This adjustment is made with the sprinkler on and running. So you want to grab an adjustment key like this one and you probably have one, but if you don't, I'll put a link in the description. But that little silver portion on the end is what you're interested in. Because when you look at your sprinkler head, you're going to notice that there's a small opening on the top. You're going to insert this tool into, rotate it slightly, and then let's watch what happens. And you want to do this while it's running. And watch what happens when I turn this adjustment to the water stream. And this adjustment is so easy and it will help you prevent putting water anywhere that you don't want. And you can reduce or increase how far the water is getting thrown from an individual head. And this is what you're actually doing. That little tiny screw is going up or down and that gets in the way of the water stream and that lets you make the adjustment. So it's simple but this is very clever to make those micro adjustments to stop water going where you don't want it to go. Our next secret tip is adjusting how much water each sprinkler head's putting down. So what you want to focus on is an area that you're having problems with your watering and it's probably going to mean that you've got an area of brown grass and you might want to increase the water or if it's the reverse and you want to decrease it because it's getting too wet, you can use the same tip. So what you're going to do is turn that sprinkler zone on and leave it on. Now you can go ahead at that point and grab the sprinkler while it's running to prevent it from shutting off because that's what you need to do next is to turn the zone off. But it's really hard to hold these sprinkler heads in position and you can use your tool to pull them up out of the ground but the spring is very very strong and you're going to need a couple of minutes to work on it. So let me show you an easier way Start by turning the sprinkler zone on that you want to work on, but you're going to use this little clip and this snaps onto the sprinkler head and it's going to lock into that ridge area and now you can shut that sprinkler zone off and watch what happens. That little clip is going to prevent the head from going down completely and that's just what you want because now you can work on that sprinkler head. Now that we've got a close up of the sprinkler head, this brings us to our next secret tip and that is that you can replace that little green thing in the middle that's called the nozzle and what that does is it controls how much water comes out of that particular sprinkler head and all you've got to do is unscrew that same screw that we did in the first step because that screw not only controls the water pattern, it also holds that nozzle in place. So as you can see me screwing it down here, with that in place, the nozzle can't be removed. But with it upright, I can just put a simple pick into that hole and I can pry the nozzle right out. Now I get so excited about this because this is a big deal. If you've got a sprinkler that's not putting enough water down, this is your problem right here. Each of these nozzles has numbers on them and this one says 0.5. That means that this nozzle is putting down a half a gallon per minute 
as it runs. So what you need to do is replace this nozzle with a larger opening. Knowing that you can replace individual nozzles is huge because now you can correctly tune your system to put out the exact amount of water. And it's a big misconception that in a zone every nozzle has to match. They don't at all because some parts of your yard are going to get more sun versus other parts and the soil may be a lot more dry. So in that area you may have to use a nozzle that's bigger. So in my yard I use an assortment to match what I have going on. And you can see right here there's a little kit that includes all different nozzles. Now that one obviously is ridiculous ridiculously huge that you wouldn't use, but there are sizes in the middle that fit every situation. So my advice is if you've got a zone that's not getting enough water and it's say putting down half a gallon per minute, double the jet size to go to say one gallon per minute and see how you do. And swapping a nozzle is really easy. All you have to do is take your new nozzle and you're going to put it on kind of an angle just like I'm doing here that points it upright, gently push it into place. And once you get it pushed in all the way, you're going to actually re-tighten that adjustment screw. Now you're only going to tighten it enough so that it holds the nozzle in. If you want to tighten it further so that it actually gets in the way of the water stream, I recommend doing that after it's running and that's what we did in the first tip. And with your new nozzle in place, you can just yank that little clip tool on there and your sprinkler is ready to go again and you can test it out and see how it performs. Now you have the power to control your sprinklers right down to the finest detail. Now you don't want to overcomplicate it, but if your zones are causing brown grass, increase the nozzle and put down more water. If they're putting down too much water, reduce it. And ultimately, if you're shooting water in places you shouldn't, use that screw adjustment to control how far it'll go. So I hope this video was helpful to you and it'll let you have the ability to control your sprinklers without paying somebody a lot of money and now you know how it works as well. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and comment below.